Okay, well today we're going to be repainting Doctor Who figure and we're going to be doing Harry Sullivan and this is from the Santaran collector set uh, from B&M uh, so let's pop him out first and then we'll have a look see what he's like Okay, so it's uh, quite a nice figure this one comes in his duffel coat he got a blue lining I think that's meant to be his uh, blazer not a bad likeness of Ian Marta, uh, a little bit bland, see what we can do on it. Um, the coat's quite nice, in fact, the whole figure's really nice, it's quite a subtle figure. I do like Harry Sullivan, one of my favourite companions. Um, so the first job is going to be to get the head off, so I'm going to go and dunk his uh, head in boiling water and see if that will pop off, and then we'll see what we can do with it. Okay, the head came off quite well. It was one of the old mushroom post ones, so they come off easy. And I've just cut the post down so that the head can go on and off quite easily. I've also removed the hands. So the first thing we're going to do is use our normal Cadian flesh tone mixed with some light flesh from Vallejo. And we're just going to uh, undercoat all the flesh parts. Okay, so we're just going to finish that all over, give it a couple of coats, and we can come back and start shading. Okay, so I've undercoated the head. I've just popped it on a, a paintbrush just to make it easier. So now we're going to use Flesh Wash, Rycland Flesh Shade, just to run that into the face, just to bring up the detail. do the same to the hands and we'll come back and start blending it in. Okay so the flesh wash is dry so all we're going to do now is use a slightly lightened version of the flesh base coat and we're going to almost dry brush a stipple effect just to blend these parts in. And to compare that side to that side, I'm going to do that all over and on the hands, and then we can come back. Okay, so I've blended the shading in. So now I'm going to do is a light red dry brush, very, very, very dry brush, just to uh, bring out the cheek color and a bit of warmth into it. And for this, you want it where there's pretty much nothing on the brush. You know what we're going to do? Very gently add a bit of colour. Okay. And I'm going to mix a little bit of the red with the flesh colour, just to make a lip colour. There we go, and I'm going to paint his eyes in white, just using white scar. Yeah. I'm also going to paint in his eyebrows and I'm going to use uh, dark brown so I'm going to use Rhinox hide for that there we go so I'm going to let the eyes dry and then we'll come back and paint the pupils ok so we're going to do how his eyes and they're green
we go. And I'm going to block in his hair using the same dark brown. So I'm going to use uh, Rhinox Hide. Kids at the door. Kids throwing a football over the garden. It's like something like the bean. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of that. Okay, so we're going to paint the pupils and the line above the eye in. some flash wash back into the mouth line and also into the eyes just to stop them being quite so white. There we go. And it's just got to let the hair dry and then we'll dry brush that and then I think it'll be just about done. Okay so the hair's dry so we're gonna dry brush in a lighter brown start with so we're going to use Mon Feng and we're also going to use a tiny bit of white just to bring out some of the hair highlights there we go so let's pop them all together. What I might do is do a cravat. So you can see I haven't put a cravat in this one, so it looks like it's wearing a t-shirt. Um, that's the original flesh colour, would you believe? So I might do that red just to make it look like a cravat. Let's do that. There we go. Together. I might have to warm the sleeves up, but I'll just go and do that now. Okay, so here's the how we figure all together. So what I did is uh, scrumpled up some paper towel and just made him a little cravat just to give it a bit of texture so it looks a bit better. What I'm going to do is once that's dry, just paint some slightly lighter patterning on it because he has a bit of a pattern cravat. So I've not really done anything else to the body because it's quite a nice sculpt but there's the face. Is it going to focus? There we go. So I think it's a really nice likeness of Ian Marta. It's a lovely figure and it's going to go pride place next to my season 12 Tom Baker. So uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these stock two videos, then uh, please like and subscribe and comment down below uh, any figures you particularly want to see. I've got quite a few uh, in the pile to do. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.